Age is what? We're gonna battle sort of is it worth it? So this episode we got this cool thing here and then what these are are some Wi-Fi range extender. And you see right here I do have three of them and all three of them are for the same exact brand, TP Link. But in terms of what you guys do get for each one of these, it is slightly different. So the one on the very left right here, in terms of the um, AC1900, that one right there is the most basic one out of all three of them. So for that one, it gives you guys the one mesh option, but does not give you guys Wi-Fi 6. The middle one right here gives you guys the Wi-Fi 6 and the one mesh option, and give you guys a wider range when you guys do use it. And then for this one right here with the AX5400, give you guys the widest range and also the best options, and it does give you guys tri-band. So that way it gives you guys an extra option to help with interference and also with a better connection when you do use it. So just to give you guys an idea of how good the connection is on here or the coverage on here when you do use it, let me turn on to the back. So you can see on the back right here, they do probably got the image of what it looks like if you guys would use it for each one of them. And you see how for the AC1900, it doesn't give you guys as much coverage compared to the AX3000, which is the middle one here, and also the AX5400. So even though the middle one right here for the AX3000 give you guys a better image in terms of the coverage on here uh, when you guys do use it, and a stronger coverage in terms of the extension coverage on here, the AX5400 is supposed to give you guys even better coverage when you do use it because it does have that extra tri-band option. That way it can help you guys help with the uh, interference and everything when you do use it, especially if you guys do have a lot of people using it. And obviously for these Wi-Fi range extender, you guys need to get it if you guys don't have a long enough range of the router that I do have. You can get either one of these to extend even further. Honestly, for me, I used like the first one for the AC1900 for quite some time. I think over like a few months now, and it's been working really well. And recently I got these two right here in terms of Wi-Fi 6 range extender. And I know this range is even further away by even more. And I don't have to worry about losing the connection as much for the Wi-Fi 6 range extender that we have right here on this slide and the middle one as well. So I actually did an unboxing video for each one of these. So if you guys are curious about how to connect it, it's actually pretty easy. But what I want to do right now is show you guys what it looks like for each one of them. So let's start with this one here first. So this one right here is an AC1900. So we do have the interior light in the front. We do have the WPS option here. We do have the two antenna that allow you guys to bring it up and down if you guys need to. So one here and one right here. And the back part here, they do have the option for you to extend the extra antenna should you guys need to, to give you guys even more coverage when you have to use it. On the side right here, we do have the option or the Ethernet option for you to use. And this side right here, we do have the reset button, LD button, and the power button. And the back part right here is where you guys can plug in the plug to actually activate the product. And that's pretty much everything that's on this product here. If you see, it's not too big. It's actually pretty decent size for what you guys do get to give you guys a very good coverage and good connection when you do use it. Next up, let me show you the other one. So this one right here, it should be the AX3000. So for this one, if you guys put it side by side, you can see how it's slightly bigger in terms of size. It is more of like a rectangle shape. This one right here doesn't have three antenna, it does have two, but the way how they design these antenna is supposed to give you guys even more coverage and a better coverage when you guys do use them. And for both of them, it does allow you guys to uh, bring back in to save space when you guys are not using it. And then the front part right here, they do have the brand name and here we do have the indicator light. So same as the other one, we do have the indicator light for the power, the Wi-Fi, 2.4 and 5G network. And so right here, we do have the option for the Ethernet option, the WPS option and the Wi-Fi reset option. And the back part right here is where you can plug in cable to actually activate it. And for this product and the AX5400, it gives you guys the option to use the access point mode on the side. So that way, if you guys want to create another Wi-Fi option using the wired option, you do have the option to do that as well. So for the Ethernet cable, you have to plug it directly into the wall Ethernet cable or the outlet. So a lot of different functionality for this one for you guys to use. Now I'll show you the last one. The last one that we have right here is the 5400 or the AX5400. And see how this one gives you guys four antenna and the size is about the same. In terms of the design, it looks very similar to the AX3000, but it just has two extra antenna. But the front right here, we do have the brand name. Here we do have the indicator light as well. So same thing, power, Wi-Fi, 2.4 and 5G. And this side right here, we have the same stuff. Reset option, WPS, and Ethernet option. And the back part right here is where you can plug in the wall outlet to actually activate it. And for each one of these, the way how you connect it is actually very easy. Literally all you need to do is just plug this into like a wall outlet and wait for the light to turn on. Once it turns on, then you guys can download the Tether app to actually set it all up. And what it does look like on the app is all the same. So let me actually turn on the app to show you guys what I mean. So if you guys need to add a new device, you can go right here and select the one you guys do have, whether it's like a Wi-Fi router or like a range extender, you guys can press on that to uh, add it. But since I already have it all set up, I don't need to do this step. If you guys are curious about how to set it up, I covered that in a different video. So once you guys turn it on on the device, this is what it actually looks like. So I'll show you guys how to connect it, how many people connect it on the network, 
and I show you guys the 2.4 network and 5G network. So really cool how you do have the option to troubleshoot everything on here and make sure everything is running on here when you have to use that. Especially if you guys press on tool right here, you do have the option to control a lot of stuff on here as well. And then in terms of the speed that you guys do get, it varies depending on what plan you guys do have. For the one that I got right here, it might not be as fast as compared to what you guys do have. Just to show you guys what I mean, let me run the speed test to show you guys uh, how fast it is and when it actually works. And I want to make sure I'm connected on the network first. So right in here, I do have it connected on the network or it's currently loading, if you can see. All right, so now we got connected. So I do run the speed test on here. If you see the speed test on here, it's not like super fast for what you guys do get, but it's decent for the plan that I do have. So it doesn't go as high as that 2000 that they mentioned on the actual product. So it does vary in terms of the device I do have. The reason why it's not so fast for me is because I got the plan that has a faster upload speed. So that way I can upload my videos much faster. Oftentimes, a lot of people who don't have like fiber cable, you don't have a fast upload speed when you have to get it. But I purposely got this one so that way I can get the fast upload speed. That's why it's not as fast. Otherwise, it will give you guys that speed that they mentioned on here when you guys do use it. But definitely for the product, when you guys do use it, it gives you guys an even more wider range to extend it from your router when you have to use it. But that is pretty much what's included for each one of these in terms of what you guys do get and how to set it up. You can see it's actually very easy and very simple to use it and very easy to set it up. I didn't show you guys how to set up in this video, like I mentioned. So feel free to check out the other video that I do have. So that is pretty much everything that's on the product in terms of what you guys do get for each one of them. Now that we gave you guys an idea of what it actually looks like for each one of them and how well it does work. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not and which one's the better option to go for. So out of these three that we have right here, honestly, all three of them works pretty well for what you guys do get. But if you guys want my honest opinion in terms of which one's the better option to go for or the best of the best, I think it's pretty obvious that this one here is the best option to go for if you guys want the best of the best to give you guys that extended coverage, better Wi-Fi range, and also give you guys that tri-band options to help with the interference when you guys do use it. So this one here is probably the best choice to go for if you guys want my honest opinion. But maybe if you guys don't have like a huge budget to spend, or if you guys don't have like a huge house, maybe if you guys are living in like a small house or like a small apartment or something, and you just need to extend it just a little bit, then going for this one right here is probably the best choice to go for if you guys don't need the extension option or whatever. I just feel like these two right here in terms of the AX3000 uh, and the AX5400, these two are the best option to go for if you guys do have a big house to expand it throughout your whole entire house. But this one right here should be enough for you guys to use it throughout your house when you guys do use that, depending on how big your house is. If you guys do have like a regular single family home or multi-family house, it should be fine. But if you guys do live in like a very big mansion or something, you probably need to get multiple of these to actually stand it. So my ranking would be this would be number one, this would be number two, and this one right here would be number three. In terms of the ranking for what you guys do get in terms of the coverage and etc. Yeah! But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, the obvious don't buy one and save them with something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. Be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.